Under code names like MK Ultra, the CIA spent 25 years and $25 million on secret mind control research. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're examining Project MK Ultra, a clandestine and controversial program conducted by the Central Intelligence Agency from the early 1950s to the mid 1970s which remains one of the most infamous chapters in the history of U.S. government experimentation. It was the most secret program ever conducted by the CIA in the United States. Project MKUltra had its roots in the Cold War era, marked by heightened tensions between the United States and the Soviet Union. Fears of mind control and brainwashing techniques being employed by the Soviets prompted the CIA to initiate its own research into mind-altering substances and methodologies. At a time of paranoia about the so-called Red Menace, the Americans believed the Soviets and Chinese might well have devised an effective brainwashing method, and the CIA was determined to crack it. In 1953, CIA Director Alan Dulles approved MKUltra assigning it to the technical services staff of the CIA. The primary objectives of MKUltra were to develop methods for mind control and interrogation, with a focus on chemical and psychological means. The new goal is to cause an individual to become subservient to an imposed control, to the point where he will perform acts against his will and then have no memory of the act. The program aims to explore ways to manipulate and control individuals' behavior extract information, and create agents who could carry out tasks without conscious awareness. The CIA knew it could be politically difficult to fund brainwashing directly, so it set up a front company to do it, euphemistically called the Society for the Investigation of Human Ecology. MKUltra encompassed a vast array of experiments involving various substances and techniques. The program can be broadly categorized into several sub-projects, each focusing on different aspects of mind control. MKUltra itself was divided into 149 subprojects. Notable subprojects include drug testing, subproject 3. MKUltra extensively delved into the effects of psychoactive drugs, particularly LSD, on human behavior. The program sought substances that could induce confessions, alter memory, and enhance suggestibility. The CIA funded and supported and uh, encouraged hundreds of young psychiatrists to experiment with this drug. Unbeknownst to many subjects, including some unwittingly dosed, the experiments often resulted in severe psychological distress. And in November 1953, CIA employee Frank Olson died after being covertly dosed with LSD at a CIA retreat. Hypnosis and Interrogation, Subproject 10. Researchers explored the potential of hypnosis as a tool for interrogation and mind control. They sought to determine whether individuals could be induced into a deep hypnotic state to reveal sensitive information or carry out specific actions against their will. Behavioral Modification – Subprojects 62 and 63 MKUltra aims to develop techniques for modifying behavior through a combination of drugs, hypnosis, and sensory deprivation. The program sought to create a Manchurian candidate, an individual who could be programmatically controlled to carry out tasks or missions. In terms of the Manchurian candidate, the idea is to use hypnosis, drugs, fear, terror, to split off part of the mind. And then you can get control of that part of the mind separately, and that part of the mind can carry out missions. Electroconvulsive therapy, ECT, subproject 65. Researchers investigated the use of electroconvulsive therapy as a means of erasing and altering memories. ECT, commonly associated with treating severe psychiatric conditions, was explored for its potential in inducing amnesia and reshaping cognitive functions. In his uh, psychic driving, uh, so-called uh, type of, of therapy, he would give the patient intensive uh, electric treatment in order to make the patient uh, regress deeply, uh, become forgetful. Radiation, subproject 142. Some MKUltra experiments explored the effects of ionizing radiation on the human mind. Researchers sought to understand how exposure to radiation might affect cognition, with potential applications in both offensive and defensive military strategies. Mind-controlled assassins, Subprojects 94 and 149. Conspiratorial notions of MKUltra often revolve around the idea of creating programmed assassins, 
While there is limited concrete evidence supporting such claims, subprojects like 94 and 149 did explore the potential for using drugs and psychological methods to control individuals for covert operations. Sexual Blackmail and Surveillance Subproject 4 MKUltra also delved into compromising methods such as sexual blackmail to manipulate and control individuals. The program explored the potential of using covertly recorded sexual activities for leverage and coercion. And it says in the documents, the purpose of this is to study the effects of an unwitting dose of LSD under conditions that mimic a field interrogation. The ethical dimensions of MKUltra have long been a subject of controversy and condemnation. One of the most glaring ethical violations was the lack of informed consent for many of the experiments. A decision was made at the highest levels of the CIA to do testing on unwitting Americans. As one CIA document says, such testing would be operationally realistic. Subjects were often unaware that they were participating in mind control experiments, leading to severe psychological and physical consequences for some. The use of unwitting civilians, including psychiatric patients, prisoners, and military personnel, as subjects in MKUltra experiments raised serious ethical questions. The line between legitimate national security research and human rights abuses became blurred as the program sought to push the boundaries of scientific knowledge without adequate regard for the well-being of the participants. We knew we were crossing a line. Every decent kid knows he shouldn't steal, but he does it sometimes. We knew damn well we didn't want anyone else to know what we were doing. Furthermore, the program operated in a shroud of secrecy, with the CIA deliberately withholding information from Congress, other government agencies, and the public. The whole thing was basically um, discovered because of a whistleblower named John Marks, who wrote the first book really about um, the program called The Search for the Manchurian Candidate. In 1973, CIA Director Richard Helms had MKUltra files destroyed. This lack of transparency not only violated principles of democratic governance, but also hindered any external oversight or accountability for MKUltra activities. The program would quietly be shut down in 1965. But the truth about what happened there would be protected for another decade and a half longer. In response to growing concerns about the program's ethics, a series of investigations and hearings were initiated. The most significant of these was the Church Committee, led by the U.S. Senate in the mid-1970s. The committee exposed the existence of MKUltra to the public and criticized the program for its ethical shortcomings and lack of oversight. In 1977, the Senate subcommittee heard testimony from many of them, but the testimony was not that revealing. The revelations about MKUltra prompted legal and policy changes aimed at preventing similar abuses in the future. Informed consent standards were strengthened, and federal regulations were implemented to ensure ethical considerations in research involving human subjects. Informed consent, as we now know it, was not a part of research at that time. The legacy of MKUltra continues to influence contemporary debates on government oversight, accountability, and the delicate balance between national security interests and individual rights. I've often, when I've been alone at home, thought, how can you fight the CIA? Who in the heck do you think you are? How can you fight the CIA? The individuals who unwittingly became subjects of MKUltra experiments often experienced severe and lasting consequences. Many reported psychological trauma, including anxiety, depression, and hallucinations, stemming from the effects of mind-altering substances administered without their knowledge or consent. I was... Uh reduced to a baby and, and wearing diapers and, and being fed and, uh, you know, I can't imagine it. I don't remember that, thank goodness, because it would haunt me in my dreams. The experiences of these subjects underscore the profound impact that covert government experimentation can have on the lives of ordinary citizens. While compensation and acknowledgement were eventually provided to some victims through legal settlements, the scars of MKUltra persist as a dark chapter in the personal histories of those who unknowingly became pawns in the pursuit of national security objectives. I feel like I've been completely used. I feel like my mind has been completely invaded. I just had to be toilet I was a vegetable. I had no identity, I had no memory, I'd never existed in the world I before. Had before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos.
You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into settings and switch on your notifications. MKUltra's legacy extends beyond the realm of covert government programs. The program has permeated popular culture, inspiring numerous books, films, and conspiracy theories. The concept of mind control, fueled by the real-world experiments of MKUltra, has become a recurring theme in literature and entertainment. You just killed two guys? They were trying to, like, stab me, Phoebe. Why are people trying to stab you? I don't know. The term MKUltra itself has taken on a symbolic meaning, representing the inherent dangers of unchecked government power and the ethical dilemmas surrounding human experimentation. The CIA knew that it was breaking, you know, every moral, ethical, and, and legal law in, in the books to do these experiments. Conspiracy theories related to MKUltra often weave together elements of truth and fiction, further complicating the public's understanding of the program. In academic and ethical discussions, MKUltra serves as a cautionary tale about the consequences of prioritizing national security interests over individual rights. It prompts ongoing reflections on the fine line between the pursuit of knowledge and the potential for abuse in the realm of scientific and government research. How dare they do that to a human being? How dare they do that to a human being? The program's experiments, often conducted without proper informed consent and shrouded in secrecy, have left an indelible mark on the individuals who unwittingly became part of MKUltra's dark history. The ethical lapses and human rights abuses associated with MKUltra have influenced legal and policy changes, contributing to a heightened awareness of the need for rigorous ethical standards in research involving human subjects. I'm still dealing with this so, and still struggling with it. There, um, there have been negative ramifications in my life and that have prevented me from being happy. As the story of MK Ultra continues to resonate in the realms of history, ethics, and popular culture, it serves as a poignant cautionary tale, urging societies to remain vigilant against the potential misuse of power in the pursuit of knowledge and security. The lessons learned from MK Ultra underscore the enduring importance of transparency, accountability, and ethical considerations in all scientific and governmental endeavors. I certainly know that a, 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 an intelligent, ethical scientist today would not do an awful lot of things that an ethical scientist would do in those days. What do you think about the impact of MKUltra? Let us know in the comments. They all knew what they were doing, but they weren't doing it out of care or love. They were doing it out of military and political reasons. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.